This peptide is BPC-157. It's a 10 milligram solution. So we're going to reconstitute with three milliliters of bacteriostatic water. When you insert the needle into the vial, there's a negative pressure. So you're going to feel it pull the bacteriostatic water into the vial, okay? So you don't want to inject it too quickly. So in other words, you wanna keep your fingers here so that you can gradually hold the needle without it splashing the water into the peptide. So the peptides are very fragile. So what you wanna do is never do it this way so that it splashes down into the peptide. You want to actually aim the needle into the corner of the vial and then slowly let the water drip down the side. And you can actually rotate the vial slightly side to side so that it's mixing as you're okay. inserting. So you're going to see as I insert this in on an angle, it's going to start pulling the water from the syringe into the vial and nice and slow. So I'm actually using my fingers here to just gently squeeze so it doesn't go too fast. And I'm just kind of guiding it in, okay? And we're just gonna rotate this around a little bit. So it's going in nice and slow, looking good so far. And we're good, okay? So you're going to gently remove that. I've now reconstituted the peptide with three milliliters of bacteriostatic water. And you can see even after just a couple of minutes, it looks like it's pretty much mixed up now. So you don't see any uh, white powder at the bottom. It's just a clear solution. As far as a dosing protocol, so typically for BPC-157, you would want 500 micrograms of the peptide for each injection. Uh, so you can definitely start lower than that the first few times uh, just to be safe. So if you want to do 250 micrograms, that's suitable. You could even do 250 twice a day. But if you're just doing one daily injection, 500 micrograms uh, is the recommended dosing.